Hi students, hi everyone. Welcome to my channel ICT Active Learners. Today I am going to explain about use of filters in Excel for numbers. So here I have a file that I have saved previous, previously with the name task 20m. So I will close this file and just close this one and we'll open the file 20m sorry it's here this is the one okay now what I'm looking for select from all the data only employees where the task code a is between 3 and inclusive 6 so the task code is between 3 and inclusive 6 so if you have a look here they have given here an example like first of all I need to click here then apply a filter the filter is applied and now I need to get between 3 and 6 so here will just click here text filter and then I will just mention here I will just go to custom filters and then I mention here that greater than or equal to 3 like they have used here greater than or equal to 3 and then and less than or equal to 6 so the data will be between 3 and 6 we will not get 1 2 and above then 6 actually so when I click on ok so it will extract or it will filter the data according to the requirement between 3 and 6 so this is how we use the text filter sorry the number filter in the excel sheet in the same way if you are searching for more than one criteria so in that case you can even use the same sheet that I have select from the data all the employees who are currently working on job for Quarticam or Hot House Design except John Mortlock and Sean O'Brien so we are looking for two different criteria this time so first of all as uh, the filter is already applied here I need to remove this filter right now and then I need to look for the job for these two person first job is Quoticam and then Hot House remove the rest that's it and click on okay and then we do we do not need the scene of Brian and yeah and what else yeah we don't need John Mortlock and scene of Brian so John Mortlock and scene of Brian we don't need these two so just uncheck them click on ok so when you just click here and uh, get the results so you can just have these uh, two jobs the current task and the people those who are going to uh, work under these two jobs so this is how you can deal with two different criteria with two different columns thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates